Today, I want to do a vlog and add a few more details about the group that I'll be running weekly and the workshop that's upcoming. I think it's soon, November 18th, I think. So, related to this book called Attached that I highly encourage you guys to read, borrow it from the library, check by it, check it out. Why? It's been so helpful for many of many of the couples that I treat and individuals too. They bring the information back to their partner and they use that and I see their relationships improve and their communication too. So I'm going to repeat the three different kinds of attachment for you. First, we have the anxious attachment type. Then we have a secure attachment. And we have avoidant attachment. Anxious attachment, what does that look like? A type of person who worries a lot about the relationship, wondering what you're thinking. Is everything all right? They ask their partner. They're checking their text to see if you texted back. That's their tendency. And then the securely attached behavior looks like this. Someone who always texts back consistently, discusses a problem till resolution, makes plans for the next time you guys are going to get together, says I love you sort of regularly, and the vibe and feeling is secure. Avoidant is a type of attachment tendency. It's fascinating to me because I've been learning a lot about it from that book. Why? Because avoidant means avoidant and it also means inconsistent, not consistent. Sometimes you approach, sometimes you avoid. For example, I'll give you an example. There was a, two people, they had a date, the husband or wife was like, oh yeah, I, oh no, they weren't married yet. And they were, the guy was like, oh yeah, I'll marry you. I want to marry you. And then three years passed, but he never asked her to marry him. They never got engaged. So there, there was two opposing messages. I love you. I love you. I want to get engaged. And then never asking to get engaged. So that's avoidant. So we're starting off with those three concepts. And I hope that you guys can learn them and then I'm gonna take that further in the group and the workshop all three